Hey guys, your boy Jack and I'm back with another video. And today, if y'all cannot tell from the title of the video, we are here with how Asian families spend Christmas, specifically my family. So with that being said, let's get started with today's video. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about how my family spends Christmas because, you know, it is the holiday season. It is Christmas time and, you know, Christmas is all about family and I thought I would share you my family traditions with y'all. With that said though, I might end up making a skit from this video eventually, maybe down the line, but we will see who knows, so stay tuned for that if I do. With that said though, we are just going to jump right into it. If you guys could not tell, I am Asian, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I am a first generation American, and yeah, let's be real, uh, I guess not all Asians celebrate Christmas. Hence why a lot of the food restaurant places that are open on Christmas or holidays like New Year's, Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, any holidays where other places would be closed are Asian restaurants or not just specifically Asians, um, basically any other foreign countries that don't really celebrate these type of holidays. Basically what I'm trying to say is that I am a first generation American and my parents are not from America. So what my parents are used to back home are not the same as here. Basically what I'm trying to say is that like my parents' traditions back home are not the same as the traditions that are here. But with that said though, we still we still celebrate Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Spending time with the family, this and that. Um, but yeah, the sad news is that my parents always most likely have worked on Christmas Day. Yes, it sucks that my parents work on Christmas Day, but, you know, they gotta do what we gotta do to survive. So, shout out to my parents. But with that said though, each Christmas that I can remember, both of my parents, if not one or the other, um, they have always basically worked every single Christmas. Sometimes my dad will work Christmas and my mom wouldn't or vice versa. Sometimes my mom will work Christmas and my dad wouldn't. It just depend on the day that Christmas landed on as some days would have been my mom's off day or vice versa with my dad as it was my dad's off day. But basically, every Christmas that I've known, either both parents had to work or one parent had to work. Um, so, yeah. But that did not stop us from creating our own traditions. Basically, my sister, you know what I'm saying, Angie Wongers, um, she started the tradition of basically cooking my parents' breakfast before they went to work. So, my parents are Asian, you know what I'm saying, 90% of the year they eat Asian food, but on Christmas Day, my sister would cook them American breakfasts, such as bacon, egg, hash browns, toast, bagels, um, any random breakfast item that you can think of, my sister probably has cooked for my parents. Not just for my parents, but for me and my sister, basically she would cook breakfast for the whole family. And after breakfast, we would open up gifts for my parents, basically have my parents open up their gifts first because they would normally be in a rush to get to work. Um, but basically after the parents would open their gifts, after they would go for work, it would just be me and my sister, me and my sister would exchange gifts, open up gifts. And then after that, me and my sister would normally go to her house, her apartment, whatever, and we would just chill. We would watch NFL football games that would be going on Christmas Day. Well, I would be watching, but she would be sleeping. My sister would be knocked out, bro. She'd be, she'd be slumped. My sister, she could sleep anywhere, anytime, bro. She'd just be sleeping, bro. Um, it's because she'd be working hard, you know what I'm saying? She always working, so she deserves sleep every holiday and stuff like that. But yeah, basically, my sister um, would be sleeping. And while my sister would be sleeping, I would just be chilling, watching TV, watching Christmas movie, watching the games, basketball games, NFL games, or just chilling. And then after my parents would get off, and once my sister wakes up, then we would meet back up, and then we would all go to my cousin's house. The whole cousins would be there. We would eat dinner, exchange gifts, chill, hang out with them, parents would be talking, kids would be playing with each other, um, we would normally play stuff on our switches, um, and yeah, that's normally how our Christmas would go, so basically, um, wake up, sister, cook breakfast with parents, eat breakfast, exchange gifts with our family, then me and my sister chill, then we go hang out with the rest of the family, exchange gifts, eat, chill, and yeah, that's normally how we would spend Christmas Day, but this year, this year, things are going to be a little bit different. Um, 
I'm going to have to keep the tradition alive because my sister is not in the States right now. She is on vacation in Australia, and she's been gone since basically the whole December, and she won't be back until January. So if my sister is watching this, I love you so much. I hope you're having fun, and I hope you bring me back a cool souvenir. Um, hopefully, it's a shirt that says, like, Australia or something because I'm basic. Uh, but yeah, shout out to my sister, love you much, um, and yeah, I'm just mentioning you again because you said you watched my last video, so, you know what I'm saying, love my sister, hope you're having a good time, um, I know it probably is killing you that you aren't able to spend the holidays with our family, um, but just know we are wishing you the best, uh, we know you wish you could be here, but I also understand, you know, go live your life, go have fun traveling, there'll be more Christmases and holidays for us to spend together, um, this is just one of many more that we will have together, so basically, have fun on your trip, you know what I'm saying, bring back me a souvenir, you know what I'm saying, aka a Australia shirt, or something like that, that I could wear, um, um, yeah, just enjoy your trip, have fun, be safe, and... Yeah, we'll see you soon. And please do not be sad that you're not here. I know, I know, I feel like I know you. And you are going to be sad that you aren't here with us for the holidays. But just know we are happy that you are living your life, living your best life all the way in Australia. Um, you're with your family, away from your family, you know what I'm saying? So just have fun, be safe, and don't even worry about us. Just worry about us when we come home because we straight, we chilling, um, and we are wishing you the best. But with that said though, since my sister is not here this year, I have to keep the tradition going. So I'm going to have to wake up, cook breakfast my parents because both my parents are working sadly. Um, but I'm pretty sure the plan will be normal as usual. After I give my parents their gifts, they're going to go to work. And then after that, we'll probably go to my aunt's house and hang out with the other family, the extended family. But the thing that sucks this year is that I'm going to have a lot of downtime. Um, which is okay. I'm probably going to be by myself. But it is what it is. I might go for a jog, go for a run, walk Dexter. Um, or, you know, play around, watch videos, watch football, watch basketball, watch whatever's on, watch Christmas movie. Um, or just edit, film, game, whatever. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is that I have a lot of downtime. Because I'm going to be alone for half of Christmas this year at least. Because I won't be hanging out with my sister. Um, but, you know, it's just like there's nothing I can do. Um, so who knows if there's friends available to hang out. Might try to do that. Um, but we would just have to see. You know what I'm saying? Christmas is in about 11 days. Because um, I'm filming this on December 14th, 2023. Uh, so I still have time to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, but, yeah, basically don't worry. I'm going to keep my tradition going, um, cooking breakfast for my parents, and then after that, probably just gonna chill and yeah, go from there. Don't really have much to say. So that is how my Asian family spends Christmas. Um, there are going to be different variations of Asian families because not all Asian families are the same. Um, and plus, all families are not the same. Just because you celebrate Christmas this way doesn't mean another family celebrates the same way. There are different families who celebrate Christmas differently. Um, but just basically be thankful for what you got. You know what I'm saying? Be happy um, that you're spending time with family. And just don't take it for granted as family time is very important. And yeah, family is what you got. They help you. They are always there for you. So yeah, just give love. Send love to your loved ones. But yeah, with that being said though, I don't think I have anything else much left to say. Um, but yeah, just... I love every single one of you guys. I hope you guys have a good holidays. I hope you guys, you know, just basically be safe, have fun, live your life, be yourself. That's all I got to say. So with all that being said, that is how my Asian family spends Christmas. So with all that being said, I don't think I have anything else to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, share, and your boy is out.